Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some Cities Skylines! So this is a new game that's coming out on March 10th, 2015, it's being produced, it's uh, developed by Colossal Order and published by Paradox Interactive. And uh, fortunately I had a, an opportunity to play it a little bit early back at ParadoxCon 2015, but um, also I get to play it a little bit early here as well. So, um, by all means, let's start a new game. Whoa! Music just got suddenly quite loud! It's fine. Uh, we're gonna start a new game and uh, yeah, let's just dive in. So, there are a lot of comparisons that can be drawn between this game and, say, other games, but we're not going to do that because this is really more about um, just let's playing. You know, we're just going to play the game. We're going to build a city. Now, uh, truth be told, I only have about three or four hours of gameplay into this game, so don't expect me to be, like, a major expert or anything, but I'll do my best to uh, show you the game mechanics and show you what we can do and, and all that stuff. So, we're going to start off with, like, a really, really stupidly long road because um, I've got an idea for how I kind of want to lay out the city. Uh, we'll start out maybe, like, that far. And we do need to connect. This is like the most important highway ever. Uh, That's where all the people are going to come from. We also need to cook up some water and power. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's see, we could go with a water tower, which will provide us with 60,000 pump capacity. Meters cubed per week. Or we could go with this one, which provides double. Water tower costs more in initial cost. And the same amount of upkeep. And it costs the same amount of power. I suppose the only real time you'd really want to use a water tower is if you just don't have access to the river. Which seems kind of strange. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this one. It's going to cause some um, noise pollution. That's what that little uh, headphones thing means. I'm going to throw that thing there. And a little bit further down, we're going to go ahead and throw a water drain pipe. We're going to take from the water and then we're going to put it right back out into the water. Why don't we go ahead and put it all the way at the edge? Or why not? What's, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? And then we're going to connect them. And we also need to power them. So we'll run some power from here to here. Um, right, right, right through the water, of course. We, want, we don't want to waste any of that valuable land space. Land real estate. Now speaking of power, we actually need to go with some power. And I've done some math, and I really don't like the idea of using coal power plants or oil power plants because they're just not as efficient as wind. Not only does wind not cost any uh, pollution, but it also is more, ch it's just cheaper. It's cheaper per dollar, like you get more power. Um, we could go ahead and throw this like over here and get like more megawatts, but these things are movable and eventually we're going to buy more regions. So this is like prime like building real estate. I don't think I want to put them right in the middle of no, right, right out there. Um, let's see, if we go over here we get four megawatts, five, three, two, that's pretty crap. We go here, we could get five. Five is actually quite crap as well. Six is not bad. Um, I mean, eight is the ideal number, but we'll go with some some sixes. We'll just throw one down. I guess over here. We just got to connect the power like so. So now we got our power and uh, our pumping and all that stuff, and we can start to uh, actually build the city. So, roads, let's do this. I want to go like this. My plan is, I'm actually going to try putting all of the different, like, zone types in their own area. Um, we're going to keep ice, we're going to keep industry isolated from commercial, which is going to be isolated from residential. And the reason for that is that, in my experiments, like, I say experiments, like, in my attempts at building a city, traffic is a huge concern, but also, um, like, there's just a lot of noise pollution that commercial places create, and I think... I think, maybe, we can get some more real estate value and some more happiness out of keeping the residents isolated. Um, hopefully it doesn't cause too many traffic problems, though. So we're going to do this. Right near the entrance, I'm thinking we'll actually create, like, a little industry zone. Um, put it as close to the entrance as we can. Just immediately drag off a road over to here. And that is not at all where I wanted that road to end. I wanted it to go farther. Oh, this is such a waste of money, but we're going to delete it. wanted it to go did I did it go as far as I wanted yeah okay it's going in units of 10 perfect I wanted it to go at exactly 10 more units perfect and then we'll go not there not there not there oh it's, come on is that tree in the way kill it kill it with fire there we go oh well that's interesting so is that the actual 10 mark? Or was it this one? 
I want you to go exactly one unit. Ah, whatever. Alright, so we're going to put some industry over here. Let's be where the industry lives. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not designate anything else for now. Now, we're going to need to connect some power. And, and in the very beginning here, I think we'll have lots of like power lines running all over the place. But eventually, you don't really need them. Because the city will provide all the connections that it needs. They automatically kind of provide connections. We also need to run the water over here. Oh, wrong button. No, we don't want to actually run the run the city quite yet. We're going to need water to the industry area. And I've already spent most of my money. It's fine. Happens. I'm picturing big residential area right in the center. How's that sound? Is it just me or does this feel like it's not horizontal? Alright, whatever. It's fine. So let's see. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And then, uh... Do we want to do grids like this? How do we do some grids? How do we do double grids? Let's go to that one. Every 20 tiles we'll have a little cross beam, cross intersection. We'll make some little suburbs or something. Really a suburb, is it? Sometimes they just say words that I don't really know what they mean. You know, it happens. You guys can live there. All right, where do we want to put the commercial? Well, um, I'm thinking like, okay, this will end up being industry over here. Maybe, maybe even industry on this side as well. This will all be like residential, like just tons of residential. So where do we want to put the commercial? Probably commercial in between the industri industrial. Let's do that. Let's go like. Uh, Let's just say... Let's just say that... That's that, like, that little bird thing up at the top is probably telling me like, Hey, you should really probably unpause the game and like make some funds. You're supposed to like, play as you go and not build it all up front. And I'm gonna say like, well, too bad. Because it's not what I want to do. <laughs> um... Yeah. I guess we can put the commercial near the industrial. As long as the commercial and the industrial are away from the residential, I think that should bring up residential values. So, next up is uh, we need to make sure once more that we have water for each of these areas. And it doesn't really seem to be... Uh, I don't like that at all. Why can't this be straight? That's hideous. That's better. Well, um, that's not cool, but we're gonna run out of funding pretty quick if we have to build all these. But yeah, let's just run them everywhere. All right, so we got pipes. Looks like we're good. We're gonna need more power for sure. And we're also going to need to actually run the power now along this interior thing to connect all the zones until we actually get structures built. So as soon as somebody builds a house there, it'll like create like a field and it'll kind of all go down that way. Alright, I think we're ready to unpause. Let's see how it goes. Congratulations, the city's first power plant has been constructed, juiced up. Sweet. Hooray, the water pumping station has my... what? Has been constructed. Freshwater slash... Uh, hashtag Mare Rocks. I can already see more birds and plants in the city thanks to the use of green energy. Hell yeah. This is showing that it's not connected. I don't know if that's true or not. Looks like it's true. Well, how about you hop over to here? What a waste of money. Alright, we can check out like our power usage and stuff. Right now we're using exactly zero megawatts. Okay. Mm Got tons of water availability. I do think we're going to adjust our, our budget a little bit. We do not need to pay for that full water pump. It can pump so much more water than we need. This thing is not operating, but I think it's only because there's no sewage yet. A renegade group of archaeologists discover that pyramids are indeed landing platforms for spaceships. That sounds like the, uh, the plot line from uh, Stargate SG-1. 
You can rename districts, buildings, cars, citizens, and other objects by clicking on their name in their relevant info window. Type the new name and press enter. Well, we could always name like Fredegar. Somebody. Hey, look at that, he's got a little picnic pail or something. Little, little, uh, umbrella. Is that a... What is that? Is it a barbecue? It's got a barbecue! Barbecue, sandbox, swing. We copied his neighbor. All they did is change the colors a little bit, but... Yeah, so we got some people. Who lives here? We got three people that live here. The Elk Residents. The Holly Residents. The Franklins. Uh, Franklin Underwood, maybe? So, okay, well, we gained some people. We have 180 people living here so far. We're losing 380... I was about to say simoleons, but that's not right. It's, uh, these are just gonna be called ducats. We're gonna call them ducats. We've got 17,000 ducats. We're losing 200 now. Taxes are on the rise. We can't actually, like, affect taxes yet until we get to 500 people. Like, they're gonna unlock more stuff as we go. So as soon as we get to 500 people, we get to do taxes and loans. We'll get garbage services, healthcare, education. We'll get elementary school. Get a medical clinic, landfill, all that stuff. And we can look at views. How are we doing on power for stuff? Consuming four, and this thing I think produced six. So we're gonna have some issues um, if we don't get a second one soon. Now, very early on, I uh, actually when I was what was that noise? Uh, when I was testing it, it uh, at ParadoxCon, I was I was very interested in these sliders, right? So the way that the math works is very simple. If you lower the slider, then if you go down to 50%, like all the way down to here, you lose 75% of your production. If you raise it to 150, you only gain 25% production. So, generally speaking, unless you're in like a real extreme emergency, you're better off not doing it. You should pretty much just focus on about 100%. Um, so, yeah. Get another 6 megawatts there. These things are darn expensive. Hey, we're making money! 370 ducats a day. Actually, sorry, that's per week. Well, boo. I want more money than that. Alright, here we can see our, like, demand graph. And of course, we want more people to come live here, so I think we will put in some more, more residential areas. We're gonna go with this, like, suburby, like, uh, not suburbs. I keep saying the wrong word. It's not suburbs at all. It's like, it's like a ant farm or something. I'm gonna force them to live in squalid conditions. In a grid. Oh, come on. How many people are actually surprised that I'm gonna build a grid? You know you're not. You know you're not surprised. Let's check our water lines. Maybe we might be able to get by with a... without doing roads. We can do, like, the, the underground pipe every other. Alright, so if we ran the pipe now... It's more options, I know. Just say we ran it from here. I know we can't afford it. I uh, know we can't quite do it just directly underneath the roads, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we do it kind of halfway in between then. Just try to, try to make it work, really. Spend all my money. It was funny, at ParadoxCon they were like, make sure you don't spend all your money. And I was like, what What do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna spend all my money, you can't stop me. You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna spend every ducat I have. It's just what happens. I wonder, is it gonna continue having like that little interconnect thing? Hey, congratulations, we have a little hamlet. Sweet. So they just gave us an influx of cash, which is actually kind of nice. Let's see, did it keep it? No, it didn't. It got rid of it. Cool. Still, we're already up to 10 megawatts of electricity com consumption. Don't worry. Eventually, we're going to be able to build out in the water, and we won't have to worry about space. For now, though, I think we do find another 6 megawatt tile. Make sure that we don't have any power issues. What do you guys say, little bird? Green energy is the best to help the mayor continues this path with renewable energy. Did you know that people actually believe that, um, like, solar, like, uh, wind, wind turbines cause, like, fan death? Not really, they don't say fan death, but, like, you know how, like, like, in Korea they think that fan death is a real thing? 
There's people who think that, like, there's subsonic or infrasonic nonsense sound waves that, like, cause cancer. It's hilarious to me. I think it's ridiculous. So let's see, how are we doing on, like, pollution and stuff? Let's see, where's the pollution graph? There we go. Yeah, all the pollution's over there, all the people live over here. Good. And okay, what about sound? Yeah, all the noise is over there. There's a little bit of sound here. Is that, what, coming from traffic, probably? Probably is. You know what's possible? It might be that the, the sound I had been hearing before, yeah, when I had built, like, commercial next to residential, was just, just the traffic. It might not be that commercial is, like, inherently loud. We'll see. We'll see. Now, every person has a car. Or every person has a job. Like, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna... We're gonna have traffic. It's not gonna be good. So we don't want to make it too gridlocky. And we're gonna want to have space to upgrade this main road, I think. So, that's gonna be fun. Probably should have actually left some space. But hey, you know what? We're just gonna have to bulldoze some houses. We're up to 600 people. Uh, all right, we actually have the ability to affect taxes and stuff now, so we can we can lower taxes if we want to. Uh, why would we ever do that? We're gonna tax the crap out of our peasants. Um, we could take loans, twenty thousand ducats. Payment plan of fifty-two weeks at five percent interest. Total of fifty uh, twenty-one thousand. So that seems like a pretty good deal, actually. Four hundred bucks. Every now and then, the music gets really loud. I'm not sure why. These interest rates suck. But it does, it would speed the game up. Loans can be repaid instantly with no extra cost to you. I assume you'd still have to pay back the interest. It's not like you just get get out of paying the interest, right? So we're still way, way over on our water. Can we actually lower water even further? Yes. We might as well. So demand's kind of low. Um, what we need is... Um, we just need to keep building, really. If you build it, they will come. We're getting 53 people per week. It's already May 27th soon, tomorrow. Be playing on the second speed, I think. Right, so we have access to some new stuff. Let's let's go ahead and do that. We need to build like an elementary school, start educating our little people. And what better place than say we build one right in the center and actually provide good Good coverage? Looks like we could. Let's go ahead and throw down an elementary school then. Maybe a fire department? Medical clinic. Get to afford the 10 grand it costs to buy one. Mayor supports education. Citizens approve of this. Hashtag no more homeschooling. Well, very good. We don't want any of that. We can build a landfill for 4k, only costs 160 upkeep. It does cost a lot of pollution. And I think we're going to want to put this like near the exit. Put it over here. So I wonder if I just like replace that power. You know what? We should not put it this close because because we're going to need we're going to need on-ramps. Let's do this. Like we're going to need to have space to upgrade these roads, I think. And we'll build the garbage thing, like, outside of city limits. Well, that's not good. I am building it along the roadside. How do you, how can you not see this? The road's right there. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, I'm wondering if I build it here, would it actually, uh, replace the power connection? I think maybe. Let's just build it over here and see what happens. Now it's showing the power is not connected. It's rather unfortunate. You should totally be able to provide power. And waste even more money just keeping power connected. Alright, cool. Well, we got garbage. It is 0% full. 4 out of... now 5 out of 15 garbage trucks are currently in use. That's gonna cost quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of traffic. We can actually follow these little guys. Here's our garbage truck. Let's follow him around. Wanna rename him? 
garbage truck. Uh, extreme winner. He's our best extreme winner. Let's see where he's going. This is like a... How, how on earth do you have a load? Y you didn't stop. I didn't see you stop to pick up garbage. Don't give me that nonsense. We're definitely gonna need to upgrade that road. Look at him. Look at look at him collecting the load just driving around. That's nonsense. There's no way that's possible. Alright, you heading home now? I think he's heading back home. Yeah, we're gonna need to upgrade this road for sure. Hey, here comes his, uh, his buddy. So there's regular garbage truck, but then there's garbage truck extreme winner. Obviously the best garbage truck ever. So, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Um, I'm gonna have to take a break here, but if you like this video, and you like videos about city builders and that kind of whole thing, then uh, feel free to like the video if you'd like, or don't, it's fine either way, but it does help me out quite a bit by affecting YouTube search results and other things. So, feel free to like the video, make a comment, uh, share with a friend, family member, or, um, I don't know, somebody that you don't like, or someone you do like. It doesn't really matter, I mean, just whatever you want to do, really. And we'll continue building this city uh, tomorrow, or actually in about an hour. <laughs> We're going to be playing this game a lot. So, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.